Hey everybody, it's Ramona. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, tonight I have for you a diamond painting haul or unboxing. And this is two orders. A couple arrived today. A couple arrived several days ago. So I just kind of saved them all and put into one. And these I ordered, you know, I've only been diamond painting probably uh, maybe, I don't know, six weeks or so, maybe two months. And so a lot of these I ordered originally when I was just kind of started getting into diamond painting and I didn't know about size and you know quality and pixels and fulls and partials or whatever so knowing what I know now I might not have ordered these early ones that I've ordered but anyway they're they'll be nice when they're done and I'm gonna do them anyway I'm not gonna not gonna do them okay so anyway this one here is I got from uh, new frog and it's 40 by 30. This is not 40 by 30, really. Hmm, that's weird. Uh, on the website it said it was 40 by 30, but it's clearly not. Uh, New Frog was $4.10. I ordered it on 10.19. It arrived on 11.14. And uh, clearly it is a partial. I didn't realize that when I ordered it again, but it's called Butterfly flowers I think yeah butterfly flowers um, but this is definitely not 30 by uh, 40 by 30 what did I say I think I said 40 by 30 yes um, this is like I think just I think it's 25 by 25 uh, so I'm not sure why I wrote that if that's if the website is just not accurate um, and there's not a picture on it what it's supposed to be like but I do have a picture because I started a journal um, and so it's supposed to look something like that so we'll see how that goes and this is the journal that uh, people were talking about on diamond painting with Donnie's um, Facebook page so it's I think I should I did I think I'm pretty sure I showed this before you know where you got it how much was it blah 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 um, and then Donnie has a video up about how to make the thumbnails um, or the little, you know, pictures for your uh, journal as well. You don't have to have a big, you know, fancy journal like that. It's not fancy. What am I saying? Okay, moving on. I'm babbling. Okay. This one I saw several people talking about. It's an elephant, uh, clearly, obviously. But this one, oh, well, I should say the first one is round drills. Just the typical, you know, sealed little bag of drills. Um, regular you know green boat but this one is interesting because it has some uh, crystal beads in it so I'm really excited to do this one I'm trying to find more crystal ones and actually I ordered a, another crystal one today from um, it was either new frog or Peggy by and actually I get to know it was Peggy by I do have a couple pending from new frog they should be here in the next week or so because they've been out like Two, three weeks maybe already but this morning I ordered from Peggy buy um, and it was buy four get one free so of course I did and I did find another one and I was really I kept trying to find paintings with the crystal beads and I figured out after watching I think it was Brenda got a couple um, pretty polka dots had ordered a couple and you have to type in special crystal diamond painting and then that's how you find the crystal one but anyway so anyway i'm excited very excited to try this one this also is a partial and i got this from but bum 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 uh new frog and the drill area is 42 by 32 it's a partial it was six dollars and 20 cents I ordered it 1019. It arrived 1114. And these came really super wrinkled. They're still kind of pretty wrinkled, but I've had them under um, 12 mason jars uh, for a couple of days since they arrived. And they're still kind of curly on the ends, but anyway, that's, that's okay. Okay, so now these ones came today, and I've not looked at them yet. I've only unboxed them, I took them out of the box. And this first one has just the regular drill kit or, you know, accessory kit. Pretty standard packaging for the drills with, uh, they're not in baggies, but the sealed bags. And this is a Buddha. 
And uh, this also is a partial, which is really disappointing. Again, I thought it was a full, uh, but I do like Buddhas. I have a couple Buddhas around the house and I'd really like to study Buddhism a little bit more. Um, I just, when I see a Buddha, it just is very peaceful to me. And um, I would love to have a big Buddha on my back, a tattoo on my back. Um, and someday I will. Um, but anyway, so this is just kind of browns and tans. Um, I, mean, I haven't looked at the codes here yet to see how close, how clear they are. I think this one's going to be a little tricky because it's very monotone. Although, oh, that looks pretty good. The codes look pretty good right there. So that might not be as bad as I think it is going to be. But um, I had originally thought that I would frame it. I haven't framed any of my diamond paintings. I just kind of do it for, as I say, therapy. But it's a partial, so that's kind of disappointing. So I might frame it, or I might look for another Buddha that's a full, a full painting. So we'll see about that. Okay, these two, um, let me see what my thing here, came from uh, Huacan. And these ones have the black tweezers in them, which I've never had before. And it looks like they have metal tips, uh, but this part is plastic, I guess. Although I have seen some that they're plastic all the way down, but I think these aren't clearly, well, they're not plastic all the way down. So I'm not sure about the quality. Uh, quite a large chunk of wax and a white drill tray. Okay. Okay, so these are kimono girls and I wanted to get these. Oh, you know what, let me show you also. This is the first kit that I've had with the um, foam rollers on the inside. And I have two kimono, kimono girls here. They're quite small, aren't they? What does this say, 20 by 25? No, that's not 20 by 25, I'm quite certain. Um, I don't know. Anyway, I wanted to get these. I was inspired to get these because I really wanted to get, oh, it's one of these ones. It peels back like that, okay. Um, the, uh, what's the, uh, oh gosh, what was it called? Um, shoot. DIY Moon Shop in the Philippines has a quite a very large, oh, look at that. Hmm, the picture is peeling right up off the canvas. Um, a very large kimono girl all in crystals and but it's $78 plus $40 shipping and handling for diamond painting do I want to spend that much on a diamond painting I really don't think so so which way does this go so anyway I, then I was on Aliexpress just kind of looking around see if they had a knockoff so to speak um, and they didn't have, what is, oh, that's the tape from the wrapping. They didn't have the big one in crystals, but they have like these little kimono girls and there's like 10 of them, 10 different styles. And this one is supposed to be like this. And let's have a look at this code system. This is going to be really hard. This is going to be very difficult. What kind of codes are those? Why can't they just use like numbers? Wow, that's going to be really time consuming and migraine inducing. Dang it. Not impressed with that. Not at all. Let's have a look at the, the uh, legend here, whatever you call it. So there's the symbol, the DMC code, and the number and the quantity. I don't, I've never had, I think maybe one or two that I've had one with quantities in it. So, let me get this end over here. Let me do this one right here. And this one. Okay, there we go. Okay, so let's have a peek again here, what we got. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, we'll just kind of have to wait and see how that goes. Um, I don't think too much of it is that busy work except down below. I guess that's in, gonna be in her kimono down there. 
we'll just I'm going to again just kind of reserve judgment on that take a wait and see approach on that one and the other kimono girl also with the foam roller is a darker dark haired one with some teal colors the other one was very light and creamy with some baby blue in it or like dusty blue and again this says it's um 20 by 25 but they seem awfully small for 20 for 20. well look how much look how wide you know the excess canvas is so you know maybe the undrilled portion might be 20 by 25 but certainly not certainly not the drill portion in fact i'm going to measure it i have a whoopsie daisy that's going to be tricky to fix okay um yeah okay sorry ah crapola crapola but this one looks like it might be interesting that uh, clearly the symbols are <clears throat> tricky again but it's interesting because this is a north-south painting is it this way whatever this way but you'd paint it this way hmm interesting all right you know what I'm gonna measure this like I just said But I think at least this, I think this one's going to be a little easier to read than the other one. But you can see it's on the side. Wow, crazy. All right, let me grab a measuring tape. It's right here. So this is, um, oh, maybe not, maybe not. Oh yeah, because that's 25 right there. So I guess, oh, where's my drill part? Oh yeah, okay. I stand corrected. It is just about 20 by 25. Yep, it is. It just looks super small though, I guess. I don't know, I don't think I've done one this small, or maybe my first ones were, anyway, regardless. <clears throat> so, that is my diamond haul, two hauls this week, and as I said earlier, I've got four coming from um, New Frog, they've been coming for a while, and I ordered four today from Peggy Buy. Waxy! So I hope everybody's going to have a great weekend and um, I can't wait to see everybody's diamond paintings and see what you're working on. So I will see you soon. Bye.